It's 10 trivia questions on trick or treat, where all of your questions and answers have to do with the word trick and the word treat. This is Trivia with Buds. it be and welcome to another episode of the trivia with buds podcast i'm your host ryan buds thanks for checking out my show and thanks for leaving itunes reviews quick patreon spotlight on my friend greg workman who has supported the show for a couple of years now greg workman lives i believe in pomona california and i used to play trivia with him and host for him at lordsburg tap house in laverne california which i miss quite a bit that was one of my favorite places they had these filet mignon sliders it was like the best thing i've ever had uh so greg loves wrestling and a big fan of the NWO, like I am. And uh, we would commiserate after trivia about all of our favorite matches from WWE days. Shout out to Greg Workman, who supports the show. Patreon.com slash Trivia with Buds. Be like Greg. Go see the cool rewards you can get every month or two for cool things uh, in the mail. And getting ready to update everything with uh, rewards very soon. If you just heard my son run into the room, <laughs> he ran in, realized I was doing something, had huge wide eyes, and uh, and then ran off. But that might be on microphone. I'm not sure. Uh, today's episode, Trick or Treat. Every question is about tricks and or treats. And my favorite candy of all time, I think I've mentioned on the show before, is a Caramello bar, which I called a Carmelo bar, like Anthony Carmelo, for a long time. And uh, I realized it's caramello. But those are my favorite. They're rare, especially in the small fun size form. Probably in other countries, uh, they are probably more popular. But over here in the U.S., I remember one or two Halloweens where I got like a little bite-sized, two-piece, two-square caramello fun size candy bar. And I lost my mind because they're so dang good. I like those. I like Hershey's Cookies and Cream quite a bit. And let's do a third one. I like uh, Haribo gummy bears, just regular or gummy worms. Those are very good. So there's my favorite treats. And in terms of tricks, uh, I cannot skateboard or do anything like that. (laughs) I have no real tricks in my life, except somehow turning hosting bar trivia into a uh, a fun and long-lasting career here so far. But let's see what you guys know about tricks and treats with these questions right now. Here we go. All right, trick or treat trivia. Question number one. In what year did Tony Hawk first land the 900? Was that the 1999 year, 2001, or 2004? When did Tony Hawk first land the 900, 99, 01, or 04? Number one. Number two, the five colors of the original Skittles are red, purple, green, yellow, and what? Number two, the five colors of the original Skittles are red, purple, green, yellow, and what? Number three, Justin Willman is the host of what Netflix illusion show? Number three, Justin Willman is the host of what Netflix illusion show? Number three. Number four, Donna and which other character invented Treat Yourself on Parks and Rec? Number four, Donna and which other character invented Treat Yourself on Parks and Rec? Number four. Number five, the horse and sparrow theory is also known as blank blank economics. Number five, the horse and sparrow theory is also known as blank blank economics. Number five. Number six, gold medal ribbon is a sweet treat you can order at what ice creamery? Number six, gold medal ribbon is a sweet treat you can order at what ice creamery? Number six. Number seven, in what UK sport did the phrase hat trick originate? Number seven, in what UK sport 
did the phrase hat trick originate? Number eight, who had the hit song Sweet Dreams Are Made of This? Number eight, who had the hit song Sweet Dreams Are Made of This? Number nine, in what month of 2021 did the series on Disney Plus Loki debut? Number nine, in what month of 2021 did the Disney Plus series Loki debut? And number 10, what series of optical illusion books starting in 1993 featured pages of audio, sorry, auto stereograms? Number 10, what series of optical illusion books starting in 93 featured pages of auto stereograms? Number 10. Those are all of your questions for today's episode on Trick or Treat. We'll be right back in just a second to see how you did with those Trick or Treat answers after this. We are back with the answers to Trick or Treat. Number one, in what year did Tony Hawk first land the 900? That was 1999. The first choice given there, 99 for Tony Hawk and the 900 over 20 years ago. That's wild. Number two, the five colors in the original Skittles are red, purple, green, yellow, and orange. Number two, orange Skittles. Number three, Justin Willman is the host of what Netflix illusion show? Magic for Humans. Number three, Magic for Humans. Number four, Donna and which other character invented Treat Yourself on Parks and Rec? That was Tom Haverford, played by Aziz Ansari. Donna, of course, played by Retta. Number four. Number five, the horse and sparrow theory is also known as trickle down economics. Trickle down, trick, get it. Number six, gold medal ribbon is a sweet treat you can order at Baskin Robbins. It's been there forever. Number six. Number seven, and what UK sport did the phrase hat trick originate? Cricket for all the international cricket fans. Number eight, who had the hit song Sweet Dreams Are Made of This? The Eurythmics. The Eurythmics. Annie Lennox and the gang. Number nine, in what month of 2021 did Disney Plus's Loki debut? June 2021. June. And number 10, what series of optical illusion books starting in 93 featured pages of audio... I said it again. Auto stereograms is the word, not audio. Auto stereograms. That's magic eye books. Magic eye books. Remember those? You stare at them. You see an illusion. Some people can't do it. Some people can. Hashtag mall rats with, um, I don't know, the big guy who's not that big anymore. I forget his name. That has been today's episode. I hope you had fun playing along. And if you're on a road trip, let me know in an iTunes review if you like this show. That seems to be the consensus. People are looking for something to do. They search trivia in podcasts. They come across my face looking like Patrick Swayze in Roadhouse. And they're like, we'll give this guy a try. There's a lot of episodes. There are a lot. There's like 1,400. And if you want to support the show, leave an iTunes review for free. Or if you got a few bucks, go to patreon.com slash trivia with buds and support the show monetarily. We have a Fact of the day for you. The fact of the day is a British research study found that watching a horror film prior to viewing abstract art enhances the enjoyment of the art for most people. I don't know why, but if you watch horror movies, go to the museum right afterwards. You'll uh, have a better experience. Thanks for listening. Thanks for telling a friend. We'll see you next time for more trivia with me. Cheers. <laughs>